Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to episode 53. Paddy does one bro door here. Hello. Um, I've just done the busy work. Yeah. Do you reckon I should do this with the bow? What? Do you reckon I could do it with the bow? Like, stay back from him and just pepper him with arrows. I think you, you, you struggle to keep back from him long enough to do, hmm. what, 10 to 15 shots? At least. Oh, I'm, I'm going to pop, 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 and then... Because, like, that damage there is because I'm at maximum distance. Well, it's That's why it took ages. I'm going to give it a go. Fuck it. Do you want a question? Yes. Go question on. from JP. Hello. Protophone. Hello. Clippy, Clippy from the Twitch people. Hello, Mr. Clippy. Coffee Jesus twitching every day, 1pm. I did a, I did a plug for him. But yeah. It's at the front of every video. It's so quite interesting uh, hearing him do uh, football uh, commentary today. Yeah. It's good. He kept calling his middle one this, the, the only ginger he's ever loved. Yeah. It's quite upsetting. He asks, uh, Clippy asks, um, what are our work career aspirations? I'm going to let you take that one because my answer is very short. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think there is much of any at the moment. Um, you know, in an ideal world, I'd love to be oh. able to do my craft things full time. Mm. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily a huge money maker. Um... You know, for us in in the career we're in, you know, uh, in retail management, Ooh, the this next, is working. The next step up is area managers, um, and I don't like really like driving that much. No. Um, I don't want to be an area manager. Who would be? I could be? probably do. Be, Who would be? Be like Whoa. the organising. Sit down. Uh, of people and telling them what to do and communicating with them but um, like I said it's just the travelling and stuff mm. um, God this is so hard to that keep and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm I'll lock very on, particular div. about quite a lot of stuff and I would probably piss a lot of people oh! off and not really care about it if I piss them off that nearly worked did it well, he, he kept flying up when I tried to get him to come and hit me. That was okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, for myself, like, I don't... Re I mean, I've never had sort of, like, career goals, per mm. se, because, like, I tend to just take things as they come. Um, I tend to find jobs I like and then just stay there because they're fun. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't... I don't hate my job. You know, I, I, it has its days for sure. I mean, I didn't hate the camera shop job. Paid like crap, but I, you know, I didn't hate the camera shop job. And that's why I think I stuck at it so long, because I didn't hate going to work every day. Which is, you know, is important, you know, because you're not coming home grumpy every day. Um, you know, work's, well, it's nothing at the minute, is it really? Mm. Um, but work was fairly tough, you know, before we locked down. But it wasn't anything I couldn't deal with. Um, yeah, we grumble and moan and, you know, things get harder and harder and budgets get cut and, you know, we have to track things down. But generally I'd come home happy for a while. There was a few bad weeks, wasn't there, when they were changing things around and, you know, trying to throw my store under the bus for a while, which was always fun. Um, but, to you be know. fair, that, that's not necessarily, like, an art, um, charity issue. I think that's more of a retail issue. Yeah. Um, you know working in charity retail I think we've got a lot more flexibility with what we do than if we were in retail 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 again I've been there done that you know and you're told what day you have to do, get things done on and mm. if it's not done you have to stay behind you've got to get it done on that day here's the thing though with retail retail you have like paid staff yes whereas in you know charity retail you live off volunteers and if you don't have your volunteers or you've got the wrong people in you know, you don't get the job done, and then you're the one that has to stay behind and get shit done. Uh, when if you know you're in a, a job that's got people, people, and it's it's gonna sound bad because I love my volunteers to pieces, um, but not all of them are super capable, and not a lot of them can do the mm. jobs that we can do. You know, you know what I mean, right? Yes. It's not mean to say that. Like, they can't do the jobs we do. You know, we work hard, we do all the paperwork. You know, we if I say, hey, can you go sort out that cupboard? You haven't got to sit here and explain a thousand times to like a paid member of staff often what that means. You can just they'll just go do it. Mm. Um, you know, I think there are and there are sort of it sounds bad, but like disciplinary procedures you can go through with like paid staff that you can't necessarily do with volunteers as easily because the volunteers just leave. 
um, you know, with paid stuff, they want to be there. They want to, you know, make money and hang around a bit, and they want to try and, you know, I think that progress. Whereas again, volunteers can just go that, screw this. That, I'm that, out. That's part of the problem. Is is is. Finding, I've, had, I've had some terrible ones. Finding, I've got a lot of good people, but I've yeah, had some terrible ones. Finding the ones. volunteers that want to be there mm. and finding enough time that you're not pissing away on volunteers that don't want to be there yeah. to spend on the volunteers that want to be there. Mm. That that That's the really mm. big balancing act because if you've got two or three volunteers that really want to be there and know what they're doing and can crack on, it's yeah. such a relief on so your part. So much easier. Yeah, exactly. They, they want to um, be there. They want to help and you. And then, again, but then if you've got one or two that don't really want to be there and you're having to literally drag them through everything, you're like, well, now I can't spend time with the ones that I want to spend time with and want to teach and want to, you know, yeah. progress. Um, ones that have put the effort in and want to, you know, you know help some, me. Sometimes... You know, as much as, you know, it's nice to have volunteers, sometimes you have to kind of cut your losses with certain people and say, look, mm. you don't want to be here, don't be here. Um, so, again, you, even if there's less people, sometimes if there's less of you, mm. but the, you've got your dedicated, really good team in, yeah. you know you can crack through. Um, mm. it, it's, it's, a very, it, it's probably the, the thing for us that takes the most time is actually dealing with volunteers. 100%. 100%. Um, you know, sometimes when you've got a couple of days when it's just, say, you and another member of staff, you can crack through a lot because you're, you're going, right, you do this, I'll do that. There's no explaining there's none of this, that or the other. It's just <gasps> get on with oh, things. Oh, look how many hours I've got left. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not doing an arrow thing this time. Nope. No. I might do, like, one at the start because that did work. Okay. No, actually, sorry, um, it's not worth it. But I, I think, again, having had that level of autonomy we do in our shop so mm. someone goes right rearrange it for a sale you say where everything goes yes occasionally the boss will come in and go oh, i don't really like that lead do you want to move it yeah um but to be fair our current boss at the moment is, is fairly cool yeah normally if you go well i've put it there because we make more money doing this than the other god damn it he will normally go okay yeah fine unless head office have said otherwise Mm. He normally goes, yeah, cool. If yeah. He's making you money, make it money. He's nice. Well, that sucked. Oh dear. Um, I didn't. I, I. He did his dash around the thing and he caught me. Okay, no more arrows. I need to go and buy arrows, so oh. we're gonna have to take another break for a bit. <gasps> oh, Thanks no. for watching. Paddy does a one bro. Did a bad job. One more, and then montage. Do you think? Or yeah. yeah so you can yeah. go do what you want for ten minutes because I've got some work to do. Oh. Thanks for watching. Paddy didn't do it, but it was we're nearly there. Bye everyone. Bye.